then since I'm wrong, then the thing that I analyze is going to come out wrong. These people are dumb. They're crazy as they can be. But that's part of the whole that we got. We didn't put a jinx on the white. We might as well tell it like it is. We didn't jinx the old boss man. We didn't jinx his behind, and he ain't nothing he can do. And we're not accepting anything, but since the jinx is so serious, that's why we say on a regular basis, look, we're not going to do what you want us to do unless you sit right down and I eat with the white man lie all the time. And we're going to have an agreement. Now, he, he always, his forked tongue, all his, you know, it's stuff like that. But he has to recognize, well, nigga, you've been right all this time, so we just, that's, that's what he's going to have to do. That's why we're just having a good time. Till he come around, you come around, that fire get to biting at your butt and snipping at you and you get to freezing to death over here, burning up over here and drowning. You'll come around. Boss man will be around. I said, but it, you, you wait too long. You know, the people in the, in the books, they usually wait around too long, you know, before they come around. So you can do what you want. That's our attitude then. We're not going to make a specific move until you recognize what we've been telling you is right. And you can do it or you cannot do it. Uh, you can wait. It's going to heat up more. Now, see, just remember a few years ago, we said we we're going to do these things and we're going to take credit for all of this stuff. Remember that? That's what we're doing. Some of it is real, but he don't know the part that's real and the part you're taking credit for. He, don't, he can't separate it because it's all one big uh, bundle of happenings to him. He don't have enough sense to say, hmm, the nigga had something to do with this, but he didn't have nothing to do with that. Then he go sit down a minute. He said, wait just a minute. No, no, no. He's discombobulated. He's confused. He's confused. Everything you do is confusion. Con I mean, bad confusion. You're going to leave Afghanistan? Well, take your time. No, we're going to run away and leave right away. And he run away, leave right away and kill up everybody and say somebody else did it and they was this, that. Then he got to come back. Well, uh, I have to tell you the truth. This is the truth I'm telling you. Now. <laughs> right? Uh, it was, he didn't say a mistake. Some old dumb thing that we killed seven children. That we just killed them. That's all. We just killed them. And the people, the men, the grown folks was our allies. They were working with us. They, yeah, so we killed them too. And the rest of y'all can't come. Okay, five or ten of you going to get over here. But the rest of y'all stay there with Taliban. They know what you do with your bad behind. <laughs> Collaborators. Anyway, this world that we're living in is headed in our direction. That's the way it's headed. There's no getting around it. Uh, you got to remember, Iran, Syria, we'll skip Libya for now, but Lebanon, it seems like it's little, but when, when Hezbollah gets to manage Right, a whole shipload. It must be, I don't know how many truckloads. That's a, and Lebanon don't have but three or four million people. So it's like all those people coming to D.C., you know, all that. To, and then they got others on the way. So you have to remember, and yesterday also was a celebration 
of the new movement in uh, in uh, not just what's the homeboy is right there next door to everybody. Uh, Yemen. So and so Al Houthi, uh, they they I saw the lecture the other day. Good lecture. They've been at war for seven years. Seven years. And without the things that we've recommended, like speed boats and uh, feeding the people, which, uh, just hold on a minute. So if you take Iran, Iraq, they destroyed, first years they bombed Iran, the second go round they come back twice at Iraq. Syria is laid waste. But when you have to rebuild a city, just think that they have to rebuild all of what they had before was old infrastructure. So they'll have to bulldoze everything. And all of that will be, hopefully, if they got any sense, will be 21st century tech. This is water, water for purification, uh, sewers and all of that, you know. They'll run the sewers and run them out to the desert and pump all that doo-doo out on the top of the desert, right? Come by, let it dry out, and come back and plant the most wonderful crops you've ever seen. The best crops grow in, in that, you know. And the Chinese, even in the old days, they used to go by with a bucket of urine and stuff and pour it on the flowers and the plants. Yep. Anyway, they don't throw any of that stuff away. Neither do the Germans. When I was in Germany, this is in the, they still in the 70s, they used to have them big wagons. There was regular wagons with a big uh, cylinder on it, and you could see the steam coming out of it. And it had big rubber tires, but it was horses drawing them. And they would go to the doo doo house, something like, and fill it up with doo doo. And they'd go out and put it on. See, in Germany, in the winter, no problem. But in the spring, when them fields thaw out, it smells like, you know what, right today in Germany. Because they use that. Uh, they use that. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, I see it's getting late. We made doers, if everybody remember. Oh, Allah, make a fool out of boss man. Laugh at him, discombobulate him. Does anybody remember? Those are doers, specifically doers that we made. Okay. Uh, it's about that time. Strategic behavior, we'll go through all of that. Actually, we'll just go through this again. We'll condense it for Juma and other classes. But that's the theme. For, for this period of time. Uh, the theme is that we've already been successful on what we had. We've been very successful. And so however we write it or put it out, those who show the way and those who lead the way, I think we'll be doing both jobs. Because we're showing the way by our behavior. We're showing, we're showing the people. And we'll lead the way by giving the proper instruction. You know, uh, yeah. When Allah hook it up, it's hooked up. It ain't, there's no loss in this one. Boss man is in trouble, you know. 
And uh, I mean, big trouble. Our boss man and the Zionists, which is also kind of a little bossy, but they're losing their shine. Both of them losing their shine. A, I mean, in a hurry. So, well, I always seek that refuge from anxiety and grief, lack of strength and laziness, cowardice and niggardliness. We seek that refuge from being overpowered by debt and the oppression of men. O Allah, suffice us with what is lawful, keep from us what is prohibited. With thy grace, make us free from want of what is besides it. I mean.